Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo 2 on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time, we spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out how the heck to get into Grunty's Industries, which was easier than you realized once you realized, hey, there's no outside entrance yet, you have to use a train station. And then I got crushed to death in here after learning how to use the uh, suction cup shoes outside. So, yeah, I kind of failed miserably at life right there, but, you know, that's just one of the things I do. So let's see if we can't actually, like, get through this without being crushed to death. I'm not even sure... Ooh, I was about to say, I wasn't sure if there's even anything in here, but... You know what? This worked the last time we were here. And it didn't work this time. I see a switch, I just gotta get to it. Alright, we're gonna try our hardest to get through there, because I saw a door that I made it to, and then smartly ran away from. And then I saw a switch. I'm not sure what the switch is for, but it's gotta be for something, right? And I know, oh, I was about to say, I know those suction cup shoes do something, but I couldn't figure out where the tracks were, and there they are right there. You know what? Let's do this real quick, see what's over here. I like the little sucking noise they make. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, I'm not sure what we're supposed to get here, but um, there's a jump pad. I guess that helps. Um, not sure if this actually does anything here, but we're here. I see some eggs. Wait, I mean, I came all the way up here just for some eggs. Unless I gotta get in there somehow, which I don't have the means to do at the moment. Alright, what's in here? Okay, another level of the area. Second floor. More disgruntled workers. I'm gonna guess that that elevator is the one downstairs. Um, and you know what, we'll come back here in a few minutes. I still want to figure out what's in the, uh, the crushing thing over here. And we got the poor little crying bunny over there. Okay, so I'm assuming you have to get crushed. At least on this part. So, luckily we can make it over here without being crushed. So if we go over here, there might be health, and then we can make it back over there without dying. Hopefully. Oh, we're still on the first floor, and hey, here, here we are. I was wondering how we got up here. And there's a whole lot of nothing up here, it appears. Um, oh, here, there we go. Okay. So far, that is a whole lot of nothing. Gotta be a way to get up there. Eh, maybe there isn't anything up there. Maybe the whole purpose of going up here is just to sucker you into losing half your health. That sounds about right. Ah, well. Uh, you know what? There's nothing else we can do over here, so let's go talk to Jam Jar so we get our health refilled. And then let's explore some more of the area. I think those are suction boots in there, too. I wonder if there's more than just the one suction track thingy. I see a split-up pad for some reason. Not sure what that does, but okay. I think they said over here that we needed a battery, right? There's a battery outside, but... When we attacked it, it just kind of sat there stunned for a little bit and didn't do a whole lot, so... Not sure if we gotta do something else with it. Hey, look at those notes. Fantastic. And... A whole lot of... 
nothing except for a switch that I see we can't get to. I'm assuming that's going to take us out to the uh, front gate and let us have a passageway in, but... The key word there is assuming. Okay, that's just a train station, so nothing over there. We already went into the workers' quarters, and there wasn't a whole lot we could do in there, I don't think. You, we gotta figure out how to clean your clothes. I mean, when I turned into a maid, I'm not really sure, but... Did we already go down here? The aircon plant? I don't think we did. Air conditioning, okay. That makes sense. And I see the... That thing, which is probably gonna... Have enemies passed me? No? Okay, no enemies. Danger, fire. Uh, let's try... Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so I don't know what the point of that is then. Uh, let's see. Toxic waste, probably not good for my health. Um... I'm gonna take a wild guess and say if you fall down there, you kind of fail. So how about we? Ah, no. Nope. Ow. Okay, yell. No, nope. Zooey. I want to. There we go. So apparently you don't die. You just get chomped. Those bastards. Uh, let's see. Can I make it across without dying? No, I don't think I can. Ow. Oh, well. We'll try that again. Then it, but this time we'll do it where we actually have health from not being stomped into oblivion by the... Crushing Shed. Ow, you son of a bitch! Gotta love having those infinite fire eggs. Kind of almost makes the blue eggs kind of useless since you don't really need them anymore. Okay, I'm not sure if you can actually blow that thing up. I'm gonna try blowing it up with our, uh... Clockwork eggs. No? Okay. I just wanted to see if you could destroy it somehow. That seemed like the easiest way to get a... That seemed like the easiest way to get a... Clean hit on it. Clean hit in on it. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's try not to die this time. Oh, I didn't even notice that over here. Hey, more notes. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if there's even anything, even anything in there. I mean, we can check, but not sure if there is. And there doesn't appear to be a whole lot down there either. So maybe this room is just has those little bit of notes in it. I mean. We can always check again, but... Yeah, let's go to the other side and check, just to make sure. I'm surprised there's no little, like, uh, security bots trying to terrorize me here. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything behind there. Unless we have to do something else to blow it up. Okay, yeah, screw that. We have better things to do than die over here. Let's see where this goes over here. I had heard a few people tell me that uh, Grunty Industries was uh, one of the better levels, but also one of the more confusing levels. And I'm 
I can see why they consider it confusing. I mean, it took me 20 minutes just to get in the front door. Don't tell me I gotta get past more fast-moving fans again like I did in Banjo-Kazooie. I almost died in that room like eight times. That room sucks. Where the heck are we going down here anyways? Um, it looks like... Oh, they're lug nuts and screws. Okay. I thought, I thought that was like a phantom honeycomb piece or something for a second. I couldn't tell. Okay, anyways. I know how to get past these things now. You just gotta... Well, I thought you just had to ice cube them. Or ice cube egg them, but I guess not. Come on, can we go further? We're making very slow progress. Not even sure if there's anything we can do in here. Come on, Kazooie, you can do it. You can cluck a little faster. No? I guess you can't. Okay, screw you. Let's try our new uh, clockwork egg, see if we can't. Because I've heard people say that you can actually use the clockwork eggs to get jiggies that you're not supposed to by using the... Um, using the little birdie to get to stuff. By collecting stuff. But we can't get close to him, so screw it. Kamikaze the lug nuts over here. Goodbye. Oh well, we tried. And there are feathers in here, but that might just be for a refill. I don't think you can actually golden feather your way past the blowing wind. If you can, that'd be awesome, but I doubt that. I mean, we can try. There's no harm in trying, I guess. Yeah, it's not making any difference. Oh well. Alright, so looks like we're gonna head back to the first floor and then if there's nothing else we can do there, we're gonna try to go to the second floor and try to actually get something to accomplish this episode. And since we got a move last level, or last episode, we can figure out how many more moves we have left. Let's see, we have 35 notes, one Jinjo, and three moves. Okay. Oh, and it turns out, um, I remembered where that last uh, Cheeto page was in Pterodactyl, and I just kind of forgot about it. That was that one where it was uh, near the Thirsty Dinosaur, and when you fill up his pool, I'm going to guess that's going to be the way you get it, because it's too high to jump to at the moment, so you probably gotta wait till you can swim to get it. Okay, uh, let's see. Die. Those are claw boots, or... I guess that's the name, claw boots, not a... Okay, how... Oh! Here's what we need that for, is the entrance. Okay, that, that helps. Yeah, I guess those... I guess the name of those things are, uh, claw climber boots and not suction cup boots. Even though they're suction cups and not claw thingies, but oh well. If you insist. I like how Kazooie can float a lot longer when she's by herself. She's not as heavy and she doesn't have to worry about uh, taking fall damage because she can float. She's all... Del she's all uh, elegant like a butterfly. Kinda. A little bit. And hooray, we don't have to take the train to get here anymore. We can actually just walk into the building. Yeah, and there's our warp pad. I think that's our first one, actually. Hey, we can actually go out here by ourselves. Wow. You know what? Remember that battery we saw out here? I'm going to take a wild guess and say that we can uh, use Banjo's pack attack to 
get him in our backpack and then take him back over here. So let's let's find the little bastard. I think he's over here, isn't he? And then we can do something in there with it. I'm not I'm not guaranteeing we can, but I'm gonna hope we can. All right, he's a. Hey, hey, what do you know? I was right. Because there was something in here we needed to power up, right? I don't remember what, but I remember it was something. Look at that, we're already, ma we're already making progress this episode. And it only took us 15 minutes. That's one of the joys of not knowing what the heck you're doing in this game. Is it only takes forever and a day to get anywhere. Okay, um... I know it's around here somewhere, I just gotta remember where. I think it is that right there, but how do we get up to it then? Oh, just jump over here. Gotcha. Okay, now where do I put the battery? No? Am I in the wrong area? I think I am. And you know what? I just realized something. When you clean this guy's clothes, he's probably going to turn the crushing thingy off so you can get in there without dying an early, miserable, banjo -y death. Makes sense. Helps if you think of these things before you die three times in there. Okay, where do I need to put this thing? Oh, there it is. And what do you know? Look, there's our teleport pad right there, so we're on the right track. Hey, hey, look at that. We can go somewhere new. Thank you, Mr. Battery. I appreciate your services. Actually, you know what? We probably should use Kazooie because she runs faster. Screw it. Pushing and breathe fire on the enemies, and I can't. I can just hit him with my sack. I mean, I have a very powerful sack, but I don't think it's that good. This is the waste disposal dump, or plant, or something. So let's check it out. Hopefully we get something of useful in here. Maybe a new move, maybe a jiggy, or... Hey, what do you know it's a new move? Hey, hey, there we go. Wait, I can't tell if I need just Banjo or just Kazooie. Oh, okay, it's, it's just for Banjo, okay. Gotcha. Well, he said flea bag, and, you know, either one of these guys could have fleas. I mean, they're both anthropomorphic animals, so either one could be construed as a flea baggy one. Yeah, go away, you little bastard. So I know we have I know we have a means to get uh, one more jiggy in dinosaur land, pterodactyl land now. I'm debating on whether or not I should do that at the beginning of the next episode, because if you guys haven't noticed I kind of record in three episode bursts, roughly. Um, and what I do is I record uh, the episodes for the week at roughly at the same time, so three at once. So I'm gonna be taking a day off, a couple days off in between recording and I have to walk back to the level anyway, so I might just end up doing that next episode. And I know we gotta go back to Witchy World and get food for it. And we can use the claw climbers there and do that. Snooze back. When you're feeling rather low, I know a place that you can go. So I can restore my energy? That's uh, pretty awesome. He said, RT to the right, and you hop in there and you take a nap. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, and somebody said there uh, there was a move in this world that we got that helps us get past uh, Stompers, the Stompy guy, and I'm guessing that's what it is. That's pretty useful. So get hit, take a nap in the take a nap in the uh, what should we call it the uh, 
Um, the footprint, and then you can get it. Okay. That helps. Um, this is probably gonna... Ow. Oh, look, there's another split pad. Not sure if we can make it all the way across here before dying, but... I kind of want to. I kind. I kind of want to take some damage just to see. Uh... Oh damn! This is very burny. Okay, that's not gonna help. Yeah, I kind of want. I kind of want to take some damage just to see if what kind of uh, health recovery you get on this thing. I mean, I'm not sure if it recovers all your health or just some of it, or maybe the longer you stay in there, the the more it recovers. Hey, Jolly Roger Lagoon's water pipeline. Um. Didn't they say something about their water being all green and not drinkable? So, what do we do over here with this? I have no idea. But we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, okay, we have spring shoes for some reason. I'm not sure what they're here for, but okay. If they had uh, those, the turbo shoes, we could run across here. But we don't have those. Hailfire. Hellfire Peaks Pipeline? Isn't that the next world we're supposed to go to? You leave me alone. Oh, that's what that is. Uh, his little cloud of gas is attacking me. That's why I'm losing health. I was wondering why I was losing health when I got near to the... Uh, when I got near to the... Toxic Lake. Okay, so you're open, but... There's not a whole lot I can do in here, I don't think. I mean... I don't think Kazooie can run on water by herself, so I don't know what the whole... You know, let's go get Kazooie and see if it makes any more sense when we're here with her. I don't think it will, but... You know what? Hey, you leave me alone. Alright, Kazooie, we we're gonna try this again. Alright, let's try this one more time and see if we can actually do something here. Okay, we can't swim in there, apparently. Um, I'm not sure what these do for us. Since there's a whole lot of... Oh, okay, I think I figured it out. Gotcha. Not sure if I got the right idea, but... Um, I think you can use Kazooie by herself to use that thing as a jump. And then you can use her... Uh, then you can use her... Her gliding ability to make it over. So let's try that, shall we? There we go, that's what I thought. Oh, what the heck? Go back the other way, Kazooie. Oh, I was close. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the general way you're supposed to do it, just, you know, with a little less fail on my part. Yeah, there we go. And of course there's a banjo switch over here, are you kidding me? Um, there better be a kazooie switch over here too. Are you serious? How the heck am I supposed to get banjo over here? I got all proud of myself. I got uh, Kazooie all the way over here, and there's not a damn thing we can do with her. Are you serious? I don't think Banjo can even use the jump shoes by himself. I see another Jiggy in there that we can't get. Okay, I don't know what the heck I did wrong over here, but... What the heck? This is ridiculous.
<laughs> okay, I failed. Unless there's like a, another switch on the other side of that pipe that I missed. Which I don't think there is, but that's where I was trying to go. You leave me alone, guy. Get out of the water. Hey, she went in there for a minute and then didn't die. That's kind of odd, but okay. No, there doesn't appear to be another switch, but we can always test just to make sure. Nope. Get out of the water, you damn bird. Okay, uh, we're gonna try Banjo one more time, and then we're gonna fail, and then we're gonna go somewhere else here. Because this is ridiculous. I could have swore Banjo would have, or Kazooie would have been the one to get over there, not Banjo. Yeah, he can't even use these shoes by himself. Okay, there's a whole lot of nothing we can do in here then, so we wasted a good amount of time for no reason. At least we can get in here now. A whole lot of help that is, but okay. These shoes have to have another use then, because if they're not for getting Kazooie across, then... Let's see... I guess they could give us a shortcut back up there instead of... Well, I guess that's the only way to get back up there. Never mind. Ah, well. Okay, that was a waste of time. Oh, and you can get up there by the ladder, so I have no idea what purpose those bouncy shoes serve in here. At all. Come here, you little shit. Alright, uh, you know what, let's try someplace else in here that we're not gonna hopefully fail less at. Uh, let's go in here, I guess. Access denied. Mechanical personnel only. And Banjo's like, oh, so that makes sense. Don't need to shake your head at the guy telling you you can't advance the, the game. Let's see. I think this took us to 4-2, right? Yeah, let's go in here. Because this took us over to 4-2 eventually. Even if there's nothing else we can do in here. Which seems to be a recurring theme for this area. There's a, a lot of areas we can't do a whole lot in so far. I guess. Okay, so it looks like now we have the ability to finish up two Jiggies at uh, Pterodactyl Land. One with the... Uh... Wait. I don't think I can... I was in somewhere else. Um, yeah, two abilities at Pterodactyl Land. One with the uh, Feeding the Caveman and one with uh, hitting Banjo across the the uh, stomping lands, but we already got the Jiggy for that. That was a Banjo and Kazooie Jiggy, not just a not just a Kazooie Jiggy. Or Banjo. Not a joint Jiggy, it was a single Jiggy. It was a joint Jiggy, not a Banjo by himself Jiggy. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I know there was a 4-2 around here somewhere that we that we made it to. We just gotta figure out how to get to it. No, it wasn't up there. It was... If I can't figure anything else out in here, then I'm just gonna go to Pterodactyl Land and do those. Screw it. Ah, I think this might have been it. No? Um, what the heck is this? I have no idea. But I think that's where we should go. Let's see, the waste disposal plant, we can't do anything else in there. Yeah, let's go in here. 
elevator shaft. I could have swore there was a room that we were in that had a second floor. Oh, it was. It was the uh, crushing shed. Okay, you know what? Let's go there. We'll lose a little bit of health, and then we'll hopefully get something else done here. Yeah, we can always make it a little bit of a challenge with health be gone. I don't mind. Over there, Stumpy. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're still on 4-1. Um, camera, how about you work with me, not against me? Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go to Pterodactyl Land and take care of those things that I can do there. So let's... Let's go. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, let's see, where is our... There's our world entrance. Or area entrance, or whatever the heck you want to call it in this place. Alright, now... We already know where the last Cheeto page in Pterodactyl Land is, so I'm not sure what that doing it solo with Banjo is going to accomplish. I think we got all the jiggies in here. Well, that doesn't help. Um, there we go. View totals for... Yeah, the only thing we're missing is one jiggy, which is going to be from the uh, the uh, feeding the guys, and one from getting the guy is water. And the Cheeto page is underwater, but not underwater yet, so we can't do that. So I have no idea. I have no idea what we're going to be getting in here. Alright, Stumpy. Why do you gotta be so Stumpy? Why can't you just like let me go and not stomp me? I mean, what did I ever do to you? Okay, let's uh... Go to sleep. Oh wow, that's pretty fast actually. Come on, get it. There we go. Ow. Oh, that's uh, pretty fast. Seems like it's a kind of lengthy since you gotta take naps every ten feet, but oh well, at least you get past it. Who knew that putting things in backpacks would have so many uses? I mean, you carry around the most useful bird in the world, you carry around other people to get you treasures, and you take naps in it to make sure you don't die. I mean, that's a pretty useful backpack. I never would have thunk it just from the first game. Alright, and looks like we're almost at the home stretch here, so let's see if we can't make it without dying. Hey, hey we made it. Alright, what is in here, though? I have no idea. It looks like it might be an uh, entrance to another world, though. If I had to guess. Or not. Okay, yeah, it probably is. So, Kazooie, how about you come on over here? And we'll go check it out real quick. And then we'll go feed the, uh, the hungry caveman dudes. You have health, right, Kazooie? Eh, close enough. Uh, let's see. Ow. Okay. Um. Okay. You know what? Let's just wonder wing our way over there. That'll be easier. If I have enough feathers, I don't think I do. No, not... 
gold? Ah, you son of a bitch. I hope I make this. Cause I'm like, don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, feathers, I see you. Come here. Thank you, you're too kind. Turn into Invincible Kazooie, you bastard. Thank you. Everything in this game seems like you take you down to likes to take you down to one honey honeycomb of health. Hey, there's a jiggy over here in Hailfire Peaks, apparently. So we've got our first jiggy for the next world, apparently. And it doesn't even show up. <laughs> there we go. Oh well, at least we got it. And you can't even see out this damn window. Oh well. Either way, we got ourselves a jiggy, so let's go and feed those uh, cave bastards. The thing is, there's three of them, and there's only two edible items in Witchy World that I'm aware of, so... I'm gonna assume that we might have to... I totally forgot about this area right here where we could just jump up. So we might have to make multiple trips over there. And if we do, I'll probably just, uh... Get it off screen. Because it doesn't seem like it would be that much of a... Excitement just to watch me feed them three times in a row. Alright, let's see, um, I'm trying to remember if I actually remember the way out to Witchy World. Actually, you know what? Let's do this the easy way and just go teleport to Witchy World and then... Yeah, we'll just do it that way. Witchy World's probably just easier to, to deal with. And yeah, why did it start me back here? So we did, we did end up getting another Jiggy out of there, just not for this world, which is kind of amusing. You would think you'd get Jiggies for the world in the world, but oh well. And we finally thought we were done with the witchy world, and then what do you know, they make us come back. I wonder if they're going to make us come back for more lunch runs. And I've heard of getting takeout, but this is ridiculous. Okay, we need to find our old friends, the uh, burger bastards, and the and the fry fucker, and you with the slot machine of doom. You leave me alone. I come here for fun and family entertainment, not to get my ass kicked by flying discs that look like pizzas. You must be psychic, Banjo. You must be psychic. Seriously, what kind of... What kind of, uh... Amusement park stand only stocks up one of each ingredient. That's like going to a McDonald's, saying you want a McDouble, and then as soon as you order that McDouble, the rest of the rest of the restaurant closes down because there's no more. That's just kind of ridiculous, but ah well. Alright, and if I remember correctly, I think we saw those uh, funky shoes up on top of the big top here. And the entrance to uh, Pterodactyl Land is over in... Space World.
No, oh, damn it. There's gotta be an easier way to get up on top of here. There we go. Alright, where's my shoes? Alright. And Space World, you are over there. Ow, leave me alone. Um, okay, good. I see him. I see him. We just gotta get to him. Because if you try to take the train with these, uh, the foods, then Grunty's like, yeah, it's not gonna happen, dude. So I think this is the only way you can get him to, to the cave dudes. Sure, why not? Alright, now I gotta feed two more of you. And... Yeah, okay, so he's gonna eat one of the burgers, he's gonna eat one of the fries, and the other guy's gonna have to make me go back and get another one, isn't he? Unless I actually have more somehow that I don't realize. Yeah, I don't think I have any more, but let's find the last bastard and make sure. I think he's over here. There he is. No? Wrong way? Okay, where is your other friend? Is he up here? This, this exits the cave, so where's number three? Uh, I see two. You're not up there, are you? It's always possible. Okay, where's the third guy? I know there's three. There's one, there's two, there's three hidden around here somewhere. This is where we... Where's that third bastard hidden at? This is worse than the time... Well, nothing's worse than the time when I couldn't figure out how to get out of the uh, UFO in... in a... Uh, Grunty Land. Or, uh, Jolly Roger Bay. That was just a bastard move. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out how to get out of there, but... Okay, here we go. Oh, so apparently we do have enough to feed him. Nice. That's what we do. It's all in a day's work there, buddy. Chocolate inside of the horn? Oh, he must have meant the, uh, the jiggy. Well, we managed to get a whole lot of nothing done in, uh, Grunty Industries, but at the same time, we managed to get two more jiggies from different worlds, so I guess we made some progress in this episode. So next time, we're gonna hopefully try to make some progress in Grunty Industries and not fail miserably at what we do, but no promises. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.